So I thought I'd park these all up down on my planet, but oh boy! Whoa, are you seeing this? My, the atoll's eating it. It is melting to the floor. The atoll is eating my and... ship. So then we're going to carry on, and this one's going to be a salvage D1000 plus explosive with red. I think I got everything but the red. So I've started off with this, which is going to be the beginning of my ship. It's going to be very simple. So uh, we're going to chuck down a salvage cannon here. Take the uh, symmetry off real quick. Salvage cannon there. Uh, D1000 there. Explosion effect computer there. Now I'm going to need the red light. So I'm going to whack the red light just here. And we can't hook it all up straight away, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, build the salvage computer first. So salvage array, get this, and we'll get the uh, symmetry on there and there, and use Z like this. So I'm just going to actually go one, and then another one there. That'll take us back to there. And then just have a simple sort of five beams that just come out the front. Real simple salvager. Um, I think they should probably be a little bit longer than that though, so I'm going to extend it out. And this is going to mean the middle beam is not going to be as powerful. So I'm going to have to redesign that. Uh, yeah. So let's just shuffle my reactor a little bit. So let's see. For that, so let's just go around like that. Yeah, yeah, sure. So then we've got a basic shape now. I'm going to want to put some thrusters on there. So do 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 do. Get some get some thrusters. I think what we'll do is just go one, two, three, and then up. That'll give us this sort of design. Uh, so that's given us 172 thrust for 20 mass. So that's gone, let's see, it's gone down to 30 thrust if I don't have the axis of width. That's 30 thrust there. If I just put these two blocks on 172 and that's the XYZ bonus which might not be here to stay so we'll just have to keep an eye on that okay so moving on then if I now have my basically got my ship so if I just take it from here and get the uh, D1000s put in place so select the D1000 computer with C get my uh, D1000s in. So I'm just going to put these in lines as well. Go like that. So we've got two there, two there. The same on the other side. So in with the shape, take the symmetry on the middle off now. <coughs> and then we'll put this one on that axis there. So then we should have them on both sides. So they're starting to bulk out a little bit. So let's see, we've got salvage 100, missiles 116. So I can actually take 16. So let's take a few of these off the back. That's four, eight, right, so take another four. And we've got 100 to 100. So put the D1000 on the salvage, 100% effect. So let's do a bit of test fire, shall we? Nice. So yeah, salvage shotgun. Very good. Is there anything? Oh, there is something. What's that? Ballistics gel. Don't mind if I do. Hello, Osiris. Hello. Oh, I need to overeat it first. Hmm. Give me a second. It's right here. Yeah, of course, you cannot salvage an entity unless it is overheating. So that's a good point to, good good time to point that out. So uh, yeah, 
Uh, you cannot do that until someone has killed it. So yeah, it's dead. So wait, what do we got? See if I move around, it is still doing it. I'm moving quite fast as well. If I just sit in one place. Oh wow, you could actually tunnel properly now because if I just make a little hole here, because of the fact that it spreads out, I should in theory be able to bore a tunnel because before when they went just straight, you couldn't actually do it and you couldn't shoot it either because... It would always cone inwards towards the end. Interesting. You're chewing through it pretty quick. It's like through. Yep, it's through. Not all the way, some of them. Just looks like it because of the lighting. Glitch. Let's just go around to here and have a look at the uh, result there. Yep, it's all updated now. Very nice. Ah, almost. <laughs> you out? Oh. Okay, so that works. So now let's see what happens when we put the explosive effect on it. Sorry, I think I dragged you a little bit there. Okay, so I can't actually see design floor. I can't actually see my effect computer anymore. <laughs> You know what? I'll put another one. No, that's cheap. Just put another one down. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay, so I've just removed the power block, linked up the explosive, and we're going to whack those explosive systems down. So I'm going to use these sort of wingy bits for my uh, explosive. So we've got symmetry point on. Now, if I just take this down to a f six, where are we there? Out there, so there. I'm going to take that back to there. There we go. There we go. Very good. And I'll start, just fills the underside here, and we can put some more there and there and there and there. I'll, I'll get rid of that ballistic gel when you're uh, done chewing it up. Yeah. Cheers. Hang on. I'm not quite done with it yet. <laughs> If the game doesn't get rid of it first. That was actually my first attempt at ballistics gel. It's not bad. I love those caution blocks. It looks pretty. Now let's destroy I it. I reckon that might actually be too... Yeah, that's too many. <laughs> so I'm actually going to remove them from the underside. One twenty, still too many. Oh well, actually, hang on. How are we doing? One hundred, isn't that nice? Nice round numbers, eh? So, oh, can we actually do that though? Oh, doesn't look like it's going to let me. So, let's just find the master. There he is. Link it to the slave. Oh, incompatible blocks. Uh -uh. So unfortunately, guys, we cannot link the salvage beam to an explosive effect. But that's okay, because we can use it as a passive effect on the ship. So currently, it is a passive effect which gives us moment effect protection. So if someone tries to use a pull on me, I think I can click this button and try to cancel it out. So. Um, Try to use what? Uh, do you have like a pull effect? on You have, haven't you? You've got a pull effect on that ship. This is going to work out quite nicely. Okay, so if you'd like to use the pull effect on me... Let me just back up. Are you out of god mode? Hmm? Are you out of god mode? It still works in god mode, doesn't it? I've tested it, and no it doesn't. Oh, okay, well I'll take it off then. You were, you were doing it on me earlier there, Yelby. When I was in the, the Try core it now. down on the planet. Try it now. Okay, so he's Give obviously... Boom, he's pulled me in. 
All right, so let's just demonstrate that one again for everybody. So he's going to pull me in with his pull laser. But I've got explosive blocks on the ship. And if I activate the explosive effect computer, come on, man, try it again. 24%. Come here. It still worked, but it was only working at 75% strength. So hang on, I'm going to try and fly away while you uh, while you pull me. So pull. Right, so it starts to pull. Now I'm going to try and resist. So I've gotten away. All right, I got away. Now maybe he just has only one beam. If you had multiple beams, yeah, exactly. Be a stronger pull. Try it again, or just a bigger system. So try it again. I'm going to turn it on. Yeah, see, if I turn that on, it doesn't bother me. It's only 25%, but it's enough for me to just knock it and just be gone. However, it did drain all my power. Now, the power drain has not yet been balanced, so don't worry too much about power drain. The simple fact is you've got to have a ratio of block count to, your, to the blocks on your ship. So, currently... The total block count of this vessel is 416, and I have 100 effect blocks, so I'm only going to get 25%. So, if I wanted to increase the um, effect here, which we're going to do, if I can't use it as a slave, I may as well try and make it a feature. Maybe I'm a salvager who doesn't like being pulled around all the time. You know? <laughs> so I'll get back to you as soon as I finish this. 80, 80 and 80, no, 12, 10 by 10 blocks by 100, or, it's a lot of blocks, yeah, it's over 100 long. and he's, it's and he's pulling it with comparatively small ship, where the crosshair is by the core, there's four 10 by 10 by 10 blocks in each one of those. Oh, wow. And then it's, yeah, it's like a hundred <laughs> So it's long, pretty, pretty darn big. Okay. The strength of these systems hasn't been adjusted yet either. It's not just the power that has to change. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, it's got inertia going too. Oh, no, I, I'm just saying I would like the number of effect blocks to have the same strength on a ship as the thrust. So if you have 50 uh, pull blocks, you should be able to pull a ship as if you were applying 50 thrust blocks on that ship. If that makes sense. No, it does. It should be in proportion with the size of your ship, right? So you no, 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 see no, 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 no. It's, it's the, the size of your system applies to the target ship and then it's in proportion with the target ship. So okay. if you use 50 pull blocks and you target a ship, it should be moving at the speed as if that ship had 50 thrust and was trying to move on its own. Oh, got ya. But I haven't balanced it yet because thrust blocks are still bugged. They're still doing That's their so whole X, Y, box dimension thing. They need to be linear. People may not like it, but that's the only way I can make everything balance out. So, Besides, um, linear works with the that thrust system that we're planning on doing, whereas the box dimension doesn't. Yay. <laughs> Light it up, Yelby. Stick your snout in there and then fire. I mean, it's spin. Discount wedging. Gotta get in the hole. That'll do. Do you know what? That needs to be the other way around. No. Okay, that'll do. Right, so now what we've got is we've got a hundred explosive blocks. 
Wait, what? Oh yeah, they're not linked. <laughs> of course they're not. So let's just... Haha, <laughs> Benny in a fish tank. Okay, sorted. Put the power block back. T. So we got 216 now. Hey! And 599 you... blocks. So that means I should have taken it up to, to a see how see what's happened. <laughs> so as a result, are you of, it again? He is, yeah. As, as a result of going up in mass, I've actually um, sorry, of adding more explosive blocks, I've gone up in mass. So you know, now I'm getting 36% protect protection. Salvage Osiris. <laughs> it would seem I can't put my helmet on again. Right then, let's see what happens when I get in the way. I thought about that earlier. Does it automatic? Oh, it does get onto you. Yep. <laughs> yep. Noted. I run out of power. Let's try it again. Good, good way to stop someone from towing your tractor or your your capital ship, right? Send a fighter in front of it. And I'm putting the effect on. Oh, I'm out of power. Oh, that was all I could block for. Oh no! Ah. <laughs> ah. I think I, I think if you did that right, you could cap someone's uh, tractor beam off. You could. Until until they shut it off and jiggled you around <coughs> and you know. Dislodged you. So maybe this now has an alternate purpose. It's a salvager and tractor beam blocker. What should we call it? <laughs> the chicken blocker. Does it does it work on people? Does it work on people? I don't know. I'm not sure. Can you tell me? Oh no, it doesn't. No. Because oh, he, he yeah he's no abduction beams. No abduction beams. You need logic for abduction. Sorry. <laughs> We've made it work, though. That dark green looks so cool. Well, people think I'm probably healing the ship as I'm stealing it. Do you know what? <laughs> I think I didn't link I the don't trust color. beam colors. Yeah, I didn't link the color up. That's cool. What was the keystrokes you could do? There was uh, something with the chat box or space or something like that for putting your helmet back on? Oh, you can't link colors on the salvage beam because, of course, it's not a weapon, is it? Ooh. No, it's a sub-weapon. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's not a main block. Effects can only be linked to main blocks. That's cannons, right. missiles, beams, and pulses. Oh, uh, okay. Damage pulses. It doesn't apply to the pulsator. Got ya, got ya. So then, here we are with the final version of this sort of tractor plate. Um, kind of looks a bit funny. And um, we've got it. It's a shotgun salvager. It can't use the explosive effect and you can't use the red uh, to color the beams. But that's okay so we did find that using the explosive effect on the ship gave you a counter to being pulled didn't last very long but i'm sure that once that's rebalanced it'll be quite useful for blocking people trying to tractor people you don't want them to <laughs> so we've got that tractor blocker plate ship thing which is also a salvager so that's fun so we move on to the next one so I thought I'd park these all up down on my planet, but oh boy! Whoa! Are you seeing this? My the atoll's eating it. It is melting through the floor. The atoll is eating and my ship. 